What about you, sir? Do you think the colored students will show up? If I got anything to do with it, they won't show up. Well, I think it's a breaking point of the school integration. I just don't uh, feel that they have a right to go to school with them. It is easy to believe today that we are an enlightened society, free from problems of race, gender, or economic separation. But some of the most difficult lessons we learn are a result of individuals who push us through these divisive barriers. In September of 1957, nine black school children, the eldest only 17, forced us through such a blockade. They sought a better education for themselves and the opportunity to pursue the American dream. This is Central High School, Little Rock, Arkansas. Troops, which for nearly three weeks lined the sidewalk here in front of the high school under orders to keep the colored students out, have been replaced now. And their orders to comply with the law, which means let the Negro students in if they come in. We were Terrence Roberts, Jefferson Thomas, Thelma Mothershed, Elizabeth Eckford, Ernest Green, Carlotta Walls, Melba Patillo, Minnie Jean Brown, and Gloria Ray. They became known as the Little Rock Nine. The 1954 Supreme Court ruling on Brown versus the Board of Education found segregation of schools unconstitutional. But as the Little Rock Nine approached the high school, segregationists swarmed the campus. I got no business out here. <laughs> this is our school, not theirs. They are, they are their own. As the violence escalated, one schoolgirl, Elizabeth Eckford, was threatened by an angry mob chanting, lynch her, lynch her. President Dwight Eisenhower intervened in Little Rock and set a precedent for our nation as a whole. Such an extreme situation has been created in Little Rock. This challenge must be met, and with such measures as will preserve to the people as a whole their lawfully protected rights in a climate permitting their free and fair exercise. In the present case, the troops are there pursuant to law solely for the purpose of preventing interference with the orders of the court. On September 25, 1957, the 101st Airborne Division and 10,000 National Guard troops escorted the Little Rock Nine as they walked bravely past screaming mobs and made their way to the classrooms of Little Rock Central High School. Just got a report here on this end that the students are in. Do you feel it's worth it going through this? Yes, I do. These nine heroes were willing to step forward and in doing so, altered the course of history. Marquette University is honored to bestow upon them the Pierre Marquette Discovery Award for this extraordinary contribution to the advancement of education for all people. The Little Rock Nine stand not just for racial equality, but also for the promise upon which our society is founded, opportunity and equality for all willing to strive, struggle, and achieve. Thank you.